news outlets can't be truly independent if they are financially dependent on government or donor funding. But a more insidious threat, even, is growing. Legal attacks, or what we might call lawfare. When I spoke with a group of journalists during my first week at USAID, they actually identified lawsuits for libel, defamation, copyright infringement, and other charges as the biggest impediment to their work. Such lawsuits can be devastating. In Serbia, the investigative outlet Crick has exposed several corruption schemes, an impressive feat given that the organization has an operating budget in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. But since 2021, Crick has faced 12 lawsuits. For Crick, I want to stress that it's actually more lawsuits than they have employees. And the damages totaled three times the organization's annual budget, three times. To withstand lawfare, journalists and media outlets need robust protection. They need training in how to avoid lawsuits altogether. They need resources to hire lawyers and cover legal fees. But often, journalists cannot get these protections. Many independent outlets can't afford to be sued. So they are driven out of business, or they try to self-censor to avoid attracting the interest of those who might target them. And corrupt leaders know all this, which is why they are using lawfare more and more. With one recent survey finding that nearly half of journalists who responded to the survey questions were facing or had faced legal threats. For years, repressive or corrupt elites have tried to silence opposition, we all know, by killing journalists. Now they are trying to kill journalism. To protect journalists and journalism, USAID has partnered with the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project and the Cyrus R. Vance Center, as well as law firms offering pro bono support to create something which I hope you will go forth and talk about, called Reporter's Shield. Reporter's Shield is an innovative new program to defend investigative reporters and civil society advocates from lawsuits that are meant to drive them out of business or to deter their hard-hitting reporting. Reporter's Shield covers the cost of legal defense for journalists, civil society activists, and organizations battling lawsuits meant to silence their reporting or their investigations. Reporter Shield is more than a legal protection program. It will also help journalists avoid lawsuits by providing resources for pre-publication legal review. And it will connect journalists with qualified lawyers to help them navigate the legal process. Now, today, I am pleased to announce that Starting immediately, media outlets and civil society organizations around the world can apply to the program to cover their reporters and their staff members. Applications will be reviewed in phases, with journalists in some regions able to receive benefits as early as next month, what with other regions launching later this year and in 2024. You can find more information and apply to the program on reporters-shield.org, reporters-shield.org. Reporter Shield is going, to go is going to grow stronger as more individuals and organizations join us in supporting it, whether that is through funding or providing pro bono legal support. So please, I would appeal to you to raise awareness of this new initiative, Reporter Shield. I urge everyone to join us in protecting journalism against threats, both well-worn threats and these newer threats. I urge everyone to hold accountable those that murder and imprison news workers, to financially support independent media organizations, as citizens to consume the important content that these independent media organizations produce to help 
reporters defend themselves against lawfare. In doing so, in doing any one of these things, you will help our broader effort to build a world where reporters need not be so brave, where their work must stand up only to counter arguments rather than bankruptcy or bailiffs or bullets, where they don't need protection just for reporting the news, because in the words of the Windhoek Declaration, only when journalists are truly free can democracy thrive. Thank you so much. Thank you very much to Administrator Power, and we're going to be hearing more about that new initiative, the Reporters' Shield, in our last panel a little bit later on. Throughout the day, we've heard from journalists, human rights defenders, civil society and institutions on their work to protect human rights and the role of freedom of expression in promoting them.